So, got the, uh, got everything cleaned up, ready to weld. Um, the only drawback to this particular system is, um, I think I'm just going to be able to get a couple tacks there on the tops. And then from there I can remove this plate and then maybe tack it a one one each side there and the in the inside part and then from there I can probably take it out of the whole fixture and maybe tack it a couple more times and weld it up from there. Um, I've measured everything uh, several times, checking the squareness and all that. Um, I did I cut off the little eyelets and polish that up so I can get the seat stays welded in. But there's the little that's where up on there. Just cut them off with the bandsaw and filed it down. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Basically, I just checked, you know, several times. It looks like it's about a from the uh, you know where the seat post is just you know kind of my rudimentary method it looks like it's about uh, I don't know 70 or 63 and a half degrees maybe <clears throat> but, um, you know measuring it up here to my uh, up to my drawing it's that's you know where we're, where we're at there so you know it's we're not doing it a straight, you know, the going off the axle line, you know, we're going to have 73, but with this being a, you know, in a flat plane here, it comes out to that 60, about 63 and a half, so. Yeah, checked it numerous times, so I guess it's time to get it going here. Alrighty, so it's a pretty tight little squeeze, but I was able to get two tacks. Uh, up on the on the top it's kind of squeezed in between there so maybe something in the future I may modify that top plate to get a little easier access but the, uh, the big thing is right around this time um, found out some information uh, my wife got accepted into a graduate school program and so our family is going to be selling our house and relocating to Denver so basically what that means is that I'm going to have to kind of hustle up on this frame and um, you know the direction of it at this point now is I don't know if I'm going to have quite the time to do all the um, you know the main gusset and everything else I think I'm just going to basically get it you know to to the writable uh, writable functional uh, position there I guess you could say and then you know get it painted and you know as it is I've got a few other welding projects <coughs> that um, I've got you know kind of in limbo that I need to kind of hustle up and get done because I'm going to have to end up uh, just taking on my welding stuff and fabrication the bigger tools are going to have to just go into storage for uh, not sure how long maybe a few years so um, yeah that's kind of the the latest thing so um, you know, I took the top plate off there and I'm just putting the getting some inside tacks here got a little easier access and then once I had a few tacks I just took the whole thing out of the jig and was able to weld it up from there so I feel like in general the whole little three-piece jig system was uh, worked worked out pretty well it's uh you know once I got this part tacked up and everything I was able to take the frame out of the whole you know the main fixture and I just left the little uh the back piece that attaches to the dropouts in place so you know from there it was easy to move the frame around and get it welded up and such how I wanted but um yeah I think in you know just kind of going back in general I think this whole little jig thing will definitely you know I know it's it'll be easy to break down and put into storage and such but uh, next frame I'll be able it'll be a lot easier and quicker to get it all finished up the next time all right so I've got this thing all 
welded up here and then it, you know like I thought it was going to be kind of just got the edge there a little bit not too bad polish it out a little bit it's a little rough but uh, it's uh not a great well just a little tricky spot but it's it's straight I guess held it up to my blueprint It's all looks like we got everything pretty nice there. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far. Get the uh, get the old uh, seat stays welded up. So I got at this point. Just need to notch the dropouts there, but I went ahead and notched out the uh, tops of the seat stays and they're gonna go basically something right there but the way that I ended up notching these um, the last bike frame that I built I just you know cut it off I think with a hacksaw and then just gradually filed it till it fit what I was wanting to get there so this one basically just made a little cardboard template here and the dropouts are going to rest right on that plane it's kind of a cheese ball method but it worked so I'll just kind of share with what I did somebody else is in a similar I don't know this is I don't even know if I'd recommend doing this but anyway made that to where it sits right there kind of measured the you know, my angles and such there, and just basically uh, took a little piece of plywood here, and you know, with that laid down, I cut a, basically just, you know, mocked it up to where, you know, that rested right there where the seat post is coming up, and on the back side, I took and basically just cut a piece of 2x4 and show you a little closer up picture here of that. Alright, so you can see I just, you know, drilled. There's two holes there that are approximately two inches apart. So there's one under this side and then here I just drilled them and then countersunk them there and just use my hardware to mount my little fixture there, my Harbor Freight uh, tube notcher fixture. And so basically screwed that in place. And so from here, then took the template, just laid it in place there. And, you know, of course, the whole saw come up like so. Um, but basically just took my pieces and I traced them out on the, basically on this piece of cardboard. And, you know, from there, pretty simple. I just clamped, uh, clamped a couple pieces of 2x4, just sandwiched the cardboard right in between so it didn't damage the tubes but held everything basically in place I just use some G clamps and some uh, you know some uh, wood clamps there so that uh that all worked pretty well it didn't take very long to build this little you know I don't know it's kind of starting to get a little time crunched on this frame build so I just wanted to come up with something quick and you know so I wasn't just filing away for hours on end on these things but got the job done So fast forward to getting these things welded on and um, you know I don't know if I cut off maybe too much and exposed some of the thinner metal or what I'm not sure but it was I'd use a lot of rod on those seat stays so I don't know just going with it at this point um, 
got the dropouts welded on and everything so at this point I just got to get the uh, disc brake mounts and the uh, little nuts on the bottom bracket and such welded on there and then we'll be uh, Oh, and I'm going to put one more cross brace there up on the seat stays. But I think on the bottom one, I had some big plans for, uh, you know, to kind of make it look like that old Webco frame. But, yeah, just all the things that I kind of had initially planned for the uh, the build, I think, are kind of just out the window at this point. It's just going to be kind of get it done and painted and writable and such. So, anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Please consider subscribing, comment if you feel like it, all those things, and thanks for watching.